Malaysia was a very interesting place to go to school. It was a very conservative country, even more so than Sri Lanka. It's not great to begin with. You know, I met the bravest people I've known in my entire life in Malaysia. I met gay Malaysians because it's illegal to be gay in Malaysia. It's illegal for them just to be who they are, which is the most gangster shit I have heard in my entire life. I had friends that walked around every day like, nah, I don't commit crimes. I am a crime. What you gonna fucking do? That's an intense individual. That's a lot to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I had a friend, his name was Ozzy. Uh, uh, so Malaysia is on, uh, on the border with Singapore. So every weekend, he would take three, four hour bus rides into Singapore just to be able to meet people, have relationships, live a normal life as he should. Uh, it was amazing, the confidence on this guy just trafficking his penis across the line. It was wild. Just risking going to jail to get some dick. It was amazing. And he was so confident, even if he got caught, he would have done great in jail. He, he would make a sitcom about his life, call it Rainbow is the New Black Guy, watch the fuck out of it, it would be amazing. I wouldn't fare nearly as well in, in incarceration. My only hope of surviving in that environment would be to get a little hat and be everyone's spiritual leader. Just go around saying things like, nah, my brother, the real prison is in your mind. <laughs> Four hours on a bus to get some dick though. That, I must say, that must have been some truly amazing dick on the other side of that board. Like four hours on a bus, I don't have one hour on a train dick on a good day, all right? I'm not, I'm not being modest, I'm just aware of how averagely endowed I am. You know, my dick is like a, like a white basketball player. You know, he's not the biggest guy on the team, but he tries real hard. <laughs> He's got strong fundamentals, and uh, most importantly, he loves the game. <laughs> that is your one dick joke for the evening. <laughs> uh, he was from a very conservative family, my friend. Uh, so uh, now that he was away from home, he'd just say the wildest things, completely out of context. I think just because he felt free to do so for the first time. Like, we'd be having dinner together as a group, and he'd just randomly say something like, you know, I like Chinese boys because their little dicks don't hurt my asshole. And that was a lot. I didn't know how to take that. Like, is it homophobic if I think that's racist? What are the rules in this situation? How does this work exactly? <laughs>